So I recently came across the post with some really nice text design and animation and I figured let me make a quick tutorial about it in After Effects. So with my text there created here, I'm gonna go into the Animation Composer, which is a free plugin preset sort of thing, and just select one of the text preset animations here. So we'll go down here and I'm gonna go ahead with this one, set it to in, and now we got a text animated just within a few clicks. So this is always nice to have. Let's go ahead and create a new solid and we'll name this fractal and we'll add a fractal noise layer on top. Let's go to the beginning of our comp and we'll just play with the contrast and brightness until we got something like so. So this should be good enough. And I'll set a keyframe for my evolution, go into the transform and set one for the turbulence offset as well. Let's go to the end of the composition and we just want to give it some slight evolution animation and also have it scrolling to the right side like so. You can obviously do this vertically as well if you wish or to the other side. So this is pretty subtle and looking nice. Let's go ahead and use this. I'm just going to add a fast blur on top so it's soften some of the edges here. Then we'll select the text layer and set it as a track mat to the fractal noise. I'm going to set it to a luma mat and invert it. So we got this sort of a texture looking thing just animating on top and it's just adding some nice touches to it. I can also lower the opacity just a tiny bit here so it's not as dark and this is already looking quite nice. Let's select both of our layers, Control D to duplicate them and I'll unlink this mat because we don't need it. I'll just rename this one to glow and this will be fractal glow. So on my glow text layer, I'm going to add a CC composite and we'll select the fractal glow layer we just created. Make sure you select effects and masks since we are using a fractal noise and I'm going to drop an invert on top of this solid as well. So it's basically inverting the colors from the previous fractal noise and we can add a separate glow on top. So if we add a glow on this text layer, if you do have deep glow, it always looks better. But just for the tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using the default one. So it just has something like this. We don't want to go too crazy. And as you can see, this is a bit too much. So what we're going to do is go into the fractal glow layer and we're going to adjust some of these settings right here. So up the contrast and brightness, play with them until we get something pretty subtle like this. And I'll just lower the glow text layer opacity like so. So now with both layers together, we got this nice glowing going over the text as well as some texture making it look kind of metallic and just giving it an awesome touch overall. Now just one thing I'd like to add to the text layers is let's select both, right click layer styles and we'll select bevel and emboss just to give it some edge that looks a bit more Define. So I'll just go down here and we're going to go pretty subtle. So just set it to two and the depth maybe 15. Just really, really subtle. So I just copy this from here to here. Now, let's say you want to make this sort of like a preset for yourself. So instead of changing both text layers at the time, what we're going to do is go down here, expand these two so we can see them. And I'm going to link the glow source text to our main text layer. So this way, whenever we change our text here, both layers change at the same time, so it's easier to customize. And another tip I'll add is if you're having a background that is with some color, so for example, let's make a solid here with a gradient, and I'll make this one bluish like so. And let's say I set it right there. And now we'll also set the glow layer to screen and I'll add a tint effect on top with the same kind of matching color of our background. So maybe something like this. And now instead of having a white glow, we can see it's sort of a bluish effect here. So this is overall how you can create this text animation. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.